Hey guys, welcome to my channel. After the grey Delta style printer from Anycubic, I decided to try the next one. This is a review of the Anycubic i3 Mega, so stay tuned. Alright, the box is there, let's do the unboxing and see what we have inside. Nice protection foam, no problems. And inside the box, this is what you're gonna find. Now let's run some specs. This 3D printer has a full metal frame. Built area is 210 by 210 by 25. Nozzle temperature can go all up to 275 degrees. Heat bed can go to 100 degrees, so you can practically print any kind of filament. It has auto leveling with very simple setup. It has 3.5 inch uh, touchscreen display with a nice interface. It has resume from out gauge, which means if you lost your power, you can continue at the same place after. It has a filament detection, so if the filament runs out, your printer will pause, so you can resume after you change the filament. You get extra hot end. And one extra replacement limit switch. For assemble this 3D printer, you only need to slide this whole upper part like this. Everything is already pre-assembled, so there is only 4 screws on each side. So uh, practically under 5 minutes you can have this printer running. Which is great, because some machines require almost 10 hours to assemble and calibrate. Then, connect these couple of connectors into the place. Every connector is different size, so you cannot miss. And it's done! The 3D printer is fully assembled. I think this was the fastest assembly of any 3D printer so far. Now we need to assemble the filament holder. Here I wanna thank you for Anycubic for putting the plastic over this acrylic part so it's a way easier to remove than for example of all other 3D printers which has the paper protection over the acrylic parts which is pain to take it off.
With this 3D printer you're gonna get only 10 meters of filament, but consider the price, we cannot ask for more. So let's open one spool from the gear best and hopefully start to print. There is a couple of things that I like about the gear best filaments. They have a consistent good quality filament, price is reasonable and the shipping is fast. And if you guys need um, any filament, you can find the links in the video description as well. And it's done. This is how the 3D printer are looking when it's fully assembled. Let's do some overview and see this printer from closer look. Everything on this 3D printer is a full metal and it's easy accessible so you can very easy change the parts if for some reason something failed. Whole X carriage is protected by this metal cover. So inside of this X carriage is a dual fan and auto leveling probe. This is a bag of X carriage and this is a those wide bearings that they use instead of two smaller ones. A quick look on the back of the heat bed. A quick look on the touch screen which is located on the front on the printer. And on the Z carriage and on the Bowden setup. This is a limit switch or a limit sensor for the filament. Very nice compact quality machine. On the right side on the printer you have a USB connector and the SD card plug. And this is how the extruder looks like. Again, the full metal. And on the left side on the printer you get your AC plug and the switch with the fuse. some test movements and see are they correct. And then the other home. And now let's adjust the auto leveling. And now it's time for the test print. The temperature are rich.
Nice, the cube is done and it's looking very good. This printer has a very good stability as well, very, very good cooling. Awesome. I don't know about you guys, but I gotta test this filament sensor. Let's cut the filament and see what's gonna happen. Now this is cool. Alright, I put the filament back in. And now let's clean the nozzle and click continue. And it's starting to print from the last position. How cool is that? The interface are looking very cool. Let's change the filament. I have changed the filament and now let's click on the filament in. I use some paper just to make sure the heat bed stays clean. Alright, the filament is out. So now let's just click on the stop. Next print is a 3D Benji. And the 3D Benji is done and is looking very very good. Like on the previous Delta, this printer has a very good quality as well. Nice details. Next print from Thingverse is an elephant by Lee Fab Shop. Again, this print came up very good. All the parts are movable and the bottom look very good as well. Nice quality. Next print is a Marvin keychain. I think this is the most beautiful keychain Marin that I ever print. 
again the great quality. No problem printing this keychain at all. Next print is gonna be the Squishy Turtle by Jake Jake from the Tinglers. This is how the turtle look when it's fully assembled. It's a very nice model, very fun and easy to print. It has these small legs working like a shocks, very funny. Next print is a Gyro Air by Delpec. This model is a little bit complicated and I recommend that you take here a low speed. After a little bit of cleaning, this is how the model look when it's assembled. If you're planning to print this model, I recommend that you're using the lower speed, as well I recommend that you're using a little bit higher retraction speed, because this model has a lot of open areas and the nozzle needs to move and stop move and stop a lot of a lot of times into this model. So retraction speed is a crucial on this 3D model if you wanna not have strengths all around the prints. So patient and the retraction and you're gonna be good. And now the final words. Is the Anycubic i3 mega great printer? Yes, it's awesome printer. You get a full metal frame, metal extruder and it's easy accessible so you can very easy change the parts if for some reason something failed. Everything is already pre-assembled, you only need 4 screws on each side, so under 5 minutes you can have this printer running. You get a touch screen with nice interface, very easy to use. You got auto leveling, easy to set up. You got a resume for out gauge, so if you lose the power you can continue to print after the power is restored. You have a filament sensor, so if you run out the filament, your printer will pause so you can continue after when you install the new filament. You get the nice instructions. You have a nice X carriage with a stable, huge white bearings as well on the heat bed. You have a build tag pre-installed. You have insulation material pre-installed. You have a very good cooling and the printing quality is very good. Honestly, I think this is the coolest 3D printer that I reviewed so far. Overall, you can't go wrong with this printer. I love Anycubic because they are taking care of, of the, all the details, they have a nice package, very nice design products and they are working very well. I think this is a great printer with very good design and with some advanced features. I like the Anycubic Ocel and I like this i3 Mega. This is a great printer and I highly recommend to everybody. Alright guys, that was my review of Anycubic i3 Mega. I hope that you like the video, if you like it, thumbs up and subscribe and if some of you guys wanna check this printer, have a look in the links in the video description. Thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for your time, you guys are great, till next time, take care and bye bye.